Hey guys, it's Chris from Domestic Chris here with another Mickey Money Monday. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about the Victoria's Secret Rewards Program and how I think that panned out. So earlier this year, I think in episode number four or five, um, I mentioned that you could get Victoria's Secret Rewards without making a purchase in the store. How does this work, you might ask? Well, it says in the rules that you there's no purchase necessary. Essentially, this is a sweepstakes. They are giving away 10 20 100 and $500 um, in cards to people. Um, most likely, you will go to the store and you would make a purchase. And for each purchase, you'll be given something like this. There was an additional card in here. Um, and then you would come back at a later date when the promotion is over and redeem that card. And you would find out how much money is on your card, either by checking in store, online, or by calling a phone number. Uh, so you might get a couple of these if you shop at Victoria's Secret regularly. But what if I told you there was a way that you could get like 36 of them <laughs> for very little money. So they offer this promotion twice a year. They'll have it again in the fall. And what you do is you have to send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address with some vital information in there. This year, um, they offered the promotion for, um, I don't remember the start date for cardholders because at the time I was not a Victoria's Secret cardholder, but cardholders got early access both in-store and via this mail-in program. And then Pink Nation members uh, had early access for one day on a Sunday, February 21st, and then everybody could send in or start making purchases in the store on February 25th through March 28th. And then you could start redeeming your card on March 29th. So you had the opportunity for 33 days available for everyone, then one additional day for Pink Nation members, and again, I don't remember, and the information's been removed from their website because it's no longer valid um, right now, but I did have it in the previous video. It doesn't matter now because it's over, but they will offer it again. So anyways, I sent out 35 self-addressed stamped envelopes. I was a little bit confused in the wording on the Pink Nation. You could mail it on Monday the 22nd, but it was actually for the 21st. But I sent out two, one for the 21st and one for the 22nd. So anyways, I sent out 35 and I received 36. And I was kind of counting track along and I've kept most of them, but... I counted my receipts. <laughs> I did hold on to all of those because for a lot of these items, I did pay um, tax in the store. So I wanted to give you guys a total spent and the total uh, purchase and show you some of the things that I got. So again, I sent out 35, I got 36. 35 of them were worth $10 and one of them was worth 20. Um, I've seen, I mentioned in before, a previous video, the girl got like $30, $10, and one $100. My very good friend, her mother-in-law, got at least two $20, and she didn't tell me about any more after that. My friend only got all 10s. Also, I received these cards mostly via the mail. I received 12 or 13 in my email inbox, and the most of those came towards the very end of the program, I think because they were running out of time to ship them out in time. So I hope they use my stamps <laughs> on somebody else's something. Uh, I just hate to see the stamps wasted, but still my savings were significant. But um, 12 or 13 of them were emailed to me and then the remaining 22 or 23 um, were no, the extra other ones all came in the mail and a couple of them came two at a time in one envelope and I may receive three or four in a day. Um, so most of them came in the mail, but some of them did come in um, an email and I did receive one and so did my friend and her mother-in-law uh, the day after the promotion ended, we got one in the mail and you couldn't check the balance or do anything because it was over. But um, I did receive that one extra one I didn't account for but because um, it, it didn't come on time. So anyways, they come both in mail and online. I guess in the past they had just sent them um, in email and that you didn't have to send the self-addressed stamped envelope. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen in the fall if they change it again, um, but they, they sent them both ways via email and also in the mail. But still, significant savings. I spent for 75 um, 
excuse me, 70 stamps, 35 to mail out, and then 35 for each of the self-addressed stamped envelopes, $34.30 on postage. Um, I also had three by five cards and envelopes, but I had those. And then in store on either tax or I used my $20 towards the purchase of a sports bra. And I also open up a new card so that I have ac earlier access later in the year to do this again. Um, and so I got another $15 off. So anyhow, the total spent in store between the sports bra and all of the taxes was $38.61. So for $72.91, I had... I got $370 worth of Victoria's Secret stuff. That's an 80% savings. So what I did is that money um, is coming out of my clothing budget annually because I, I can't justify spending $370 out of my clothing budget on Victoria's Secret, but I can this lesser amount um, because that's a significant savings. So that's where that money um, is coming from. So I got for that, 22 pairs of underwear that I'm not going to show you. <laughs> um, and one sports bra. I hope I can that right. I might have got 21 pairs of underwear and one sports bra. A lot. Anyways, one sports bra. And then I got um, six of these um, Amber Romance sprays. Four um, Love Spell sprays. Four Love Spell lotions. Two Pure Seduction lotions. These smell very similar to Amber Romance. And I don't know if they're must be discontinuing Amber Romance or something. They said they weren't having it. And I love the way that smells. One of these Sexy Little Things Noir. I love this smell. But it's very expensive for their perfume. I'd like to have some. But this is a good little spray. Six of these Amber Romance uh, Roll-Ons. It's good to have in your purse or in the car. And two lip glosses for my kids and <laughs> they liked these when we went in there to the store. I also got a free uh, Forever Sexy Roll-On and I got this actually. I was paying attention to the signage in the store and they had a little sign that said if you went to this website and voted for this fragrance on a perfume voting website that you would get a sexy gift in store. It didn't say what. Um, and so I, it said to show the cashier like that you did this thing and I did and I got that for free. So bonus. Um, and th these were like, this says it's $18. Uh, a lot of these I got them like for two for 10 and I paid 70 cents in tax. Um, this was $10. The roll-ons were two for 10. The lip glosses were $10 a piece. I was hoping to, I told my kids, I said, if I get another $20, um, because you cannot combine the cards, you had to do the transactions individually. That's why I have so many receipts. Um, and that's how I was able to count them up. Um, but anyways, I, I was hoping to get another $20 because if you bought two, you could get two free. So it was like they were $5 instead of $10 a piece for the lip gloss. But I only got the one $20. And I, like I said, I spent that on um, going towards the purchase of a new sports bra. And I wore it during the mini marathon this weekend. And it was amazing. I really, really loved it. So anyhow... $72.71 spent for $370 worth of merchandise and 80% savings. That is excellent. When this comes around again in the fall, I will be sure to let you know as soon as I know and fill you in on the things that you need to do to make this happen. And why did I buy so much of this? Christmas, birthday, all those lovely things for your friends <laughs> and family or whatever. And I've lost a lot of weight and I needed new underwear for myself. So I was able to replenish with an exorbitant amount of Victoria's Secret panties I would probably not have normally purchased. So it feels good. It was very exciting to save so much money. So speaking of saving money, how much money have we saved this week? I think you're going to be really happy. You know, I remember a long time ago we talked about uh, at some point I needed to save $15 a week to be able to make it to my goal by the end of the year, excluding those um, regular savings that I have. And last week was 25 and I've I've usually done well over. Well, let's see about this week. So I got my Visa, Disney Visa statement this month and I earned $45.86 um, in Visa rewards. 
I um, returned some textbooks that I had purchased and I got $80.25 from that. I got $10 surprise money blessings from my friend um, Mary who had also given me the birthday money. She sent it for me in a Mother's Day card. $35 worth of Imperk rewards. Remember when I receive Imperk rewards, I save them. I saved $15 off my grocery budget by purchasing... Um, $50 Meyer gift cards at a discounted rate. They had um, $5 off 50 only for Meyer cards. So I purchased $150 in cards and I saved the extra $15 for myself. And that's how I was able to save, oops, I wrote down the wrong number, like $184.11. Let me double check my math right now because it was $138. 0.25 plus 45.86 equals 184.11. I remembered. Smart cookie. So that's so exciting. $184 this week. This week, people, you can do this. You can save money for Disney, for whatever. And I'm really excited to share my tips with you. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Happy belated Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there. And I'll see you real soon.